Hey guys, and welcome back to West of Loving. Let's get right in back into this. Alright, I haven't done this yet. What is this? What the fuck is that? The East Beast seems to have killed this guy pretty thoroughly. No shit! I mean, look at the X's in his eyes! East cover hat. Beer hose, you're not really sure. Zap of the con. It's pure ethanol. Devise a cunning plan. Move the hose. Hopes this works. Turn it on! At least I didn't have to fight that asshole. Sure. Half a ton of East. So this whole East theft biz doesn't seem to have gone well for you guys. Yeah, no, I- Oh, jeez, are you a bounty hunter? Relax, the mayor just wants his e East back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Well, okay. Hmm, phew. Well, okay, well, the East is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? We got bored of bread is all. I know a bit about brewing, and we figured if we came back with a couple kegs, no one mind so much that we stole the East. No offense, but it seems you aren't much of a brewer. Hey! Well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with a ravenous East monster. That wasn't my- uh. Well, okay, I guess it was my fault. I understand, but I understand what happened. The vats were old. We didn't clean them properly first because we were in a hurry. I think there were some frogs living in one of them. So you figured you could use the extra hops? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, if, you, if you're if you sure, you gotta figure it out. You could set up shop in dirt water. Oh? Yeah, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. I'd love to have my own, my own place. Okay, I'll go check it out. Take your lead. Do, 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 do. This, this track is so badass, though. Yeah, this guy's pretty dead. I'm almost certain he's dead. East Covered Hat Mysticality. The Rastafarian's like a fucking gold plated. Alright, let's go to the ranch. Time to fight some. Wow, they were prepared for me. Hi, friends. You guys were just prepared to fight, weren't you? And Gore. Kerchow! Wow, they're so weak. They're so weak! Okay, they were surprisingly very weak. Scavenge. Diary of Alexandria, Alexandria. Dig through it. Overdue Breadwood book. Man's cow punching. All right, menacing mover haymaker. So I just unleash a move. It's a steel vault door. Is there no way in? The front half. Fort Treason. The army did this. Why? Why would the army blow up this place? Okay. So you read it. You'll flip through the diary. Most of it is uneventful, describing the life of a woman who likes books and isn't interested in much else. Ends with a passage about a soldier from a nearby fort warning her about some kind of danger he couldn't specify. So she moved most of her most valuable books to the cellar and took the or took the ordinary precautions, boarding up the windows and not leaving the house at night. Turns out this isn't much good against cannonballs. You think? Well. Well, there I can get it. I guess I have to go to Fort Treason to blow up this steel vault. Nope. We're gonna go there first. Look closely. Serve your cannonball. Oh, I don't have a range finder. Whatever that means. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not smart enough to know about to know about like cannons and all of that. Pick over the leavings, instant grit. Oh, wait, no. Do I have enough? Oh, 847. Damn it. Ah, oh, soon. I need a thousand for that lock, for that max level lock picking. Pick the lock. Kick it open. Cool, more shit. Pick the lock. Kick it open. Ooh, I saw a diary. Key to peel box. Private methyl. Methyl. 
That's such a weird name. Artillery Targeting Flare. Okay, so I think I should put that there. Read it. Most of Private Mathal. That's such a weird name. I've never seen that name before. I've met a lot of people, but I've just never seen that name before. Most of Private Methal's diary is empty pages, ink splotches, and latrine duty again, blah blah blah. Near the end, though, you start to see notes about the fort's commanding officer, Captain Simon, going off the deep end. As Methal puts it, being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere doing, doing nothing is driving the captain friggin' bug nuts. When the captain eventually decided that a nearby ranch occupied a solitary woman and her book collection was actually an enemy spy outpost, Mafal was felt compelled to warn the woman, but was too worried about getting court-martialed to give her any specific details of the looming threat. In an attempt to prevent an imminent cannon bombardment on the ranch, Mafal stole some bas ballistics charts, ballistic charts, and hid them in the post office box during a shore leave in Dirtwater. This place doesn't have any damn shores. He comments, "What the hell?" Unfortunately, the cannon had already been calibrated, and when Fall returns to the camp, he discovered the shelling had already begun. In his last entry, he declared his intention to start a mutiny, but the story ends there with no conclusion to the story. Mutiny? Private Lemon. Private Lemon's diary is pretty dry and not very interesting, just a list of day to day duties of a straight laced soldier up in the hills without anything to fight. Towards the end, it starts mentioning their commanding officer, Captain Simon, becoming increasingly agitated, convinced that a nearby ranch of, was being. Used as a spy outpost. Lemon doesn't sound convinced, but as one annoyingly vague entry puts it, orders are orders. The last few entries have to do with the scent in the ranks and the possibility of mutiny, the thought of which Lemon abhors. The rest of the pages are blanked. This must have been where they stored all the fire. You think? You think that's where they stored fire? The place that's burnt to the ground. I could never tell. I could never tell. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go with dirt. Where is dirt water? Oh god, dirt water is really far back. Oh, cool. Wandering Sally. What do you got for me, Sally? Come on, Sally, baby. What you got for me? I mean, I'll buy all these. I need these. I need those. Carrots. Eh. What does a lucky marigold do? Eh, not that interesting. I mean, thanks for the thanks for the needles. That those are definitely stuff that I need. Dirt water. Oh god, it's so far out. Uh, so I wanted to go. I had a bill. Not yet, bill. Oh yeah, I was supposed to find some kind of. What? Why are you just dancing? That was weird. Open 114. Ballistics charts. And... Don't I have, like, another... P oh, I only have one P.O. Box key. Yeah, I don't have more. Let's see. Well, let's send a postcard. Cool. And... I want to see... The... Liquid Brewing Bread! Liquid Bread Brewing Co. Oh, hey, it's you! Thanks for telling me about this place instead of arresting me. Or shooting me in the head, then arresting me. No problem, I'm not really a bounty hunter anyway. But, look, I'm not really a bounty hunter anyway, but looking to help pe- just looking to help people out. I don't know why I saw but. Well, you sure did help me out. I really appreciate the opportunity. And things are pretty going pretty well. Not a single East Monster yet. Eh, what can I get ya? Show me your goods. Ah, uh, it's just liquor. I'm too poor to buy the liquor. There's like three, four. So there's four more things that I can get. And now let's go to. Okay. Oh wow, you get to go first, huh? Boop dee doop. Punch the shit out of him. It was just like, there was just like no. There's just like nothing there. That was just instant punched out. There's the targeting flare. Fort, go back to Fort Treason. Uh, read it. 
full of details on precision fire and the demi culverin artillery. You know what? I bet that cannon could blow the vault door at Alexandria up. Ranch open if you can figure out a way to target. Good idea, I've already did. So look closely. Sir, your cannonball. Light it up. Well, let's see what's in the vault. Ooh, just the short treason. I guess whoever was in charge figured, well, screw those guys. Full canteen, silver bullets. Eh, it's not really anything helpful to me. Oh, that blew it straight open. Take one. Percussion. And there's that's cow punching. How to cheat at poker. Ah, oh, I don't have I don't have that yet. Let's see, how to cheat at poker. Gives you dirty poker skills. Let's hit the tables! And that's the last one. So there's no more cow punching. Percussive maintenance. Was that the books you try to fix me by hitting it really hard? It just smashed the book to. Why would you know what? You know what? There's so much wrong with the world today. I, I don't have time for that. Oh wait, how close am I? I need a hundred more. Let's go to Jumble Neck Mine, whatever's there. Intimidate him. Whoa! Give me your stuff, or I s yield to you. <laughs> I grip my teeth and flex my muscles. Okay, Timmy, six gun, meat, and twenty. I just swallowed him out of my out of shit. Okay, searched rocks. Oh well, take some. Harvest silver tooth skull. Okay, there was just a random skull inside of there. Except for all of the dust all over the, the all over everything, the fact that the guy at the desk is a ghost, that this looks like a regular mine foreman's office. Talk to him. Excuse me. Kid, I'm busy here. I got a mine to run. Take a hike, okay? The mine is still running? I haven't seen anyone around. We're miners, kid. If you saw anyone up here, I have to fire them for not doing their job. How's business? Oh, just great. Hunky frickin' Dory. See this face? This is my happy face, and I'm double excited about answering questions from some random random kid that wandered into my office while I'm working. Look how ecstatic I am. That's quite a silver tooth you got. That sarcastic grin. Made it myself. Made a few silver, little silver, few little silver trinkets in my time. Now go away. Do you know that you're a ghost? Do you know you're a pain in the ass? No, I'm serious. You see me laughing? I have something that belongs to you. Well, that's a human skull. No, it's a silver tooth. Look familiar? Didn't mean to accept you, but... Uh, I guess I forgot somehow. Must have been a traumatic experience. You think? You think maybe? Shh, give me that damn skull. It's mine after all. What happens? I want to talk about it. Frankly, kids, none of your business. Leave me alone so I can get on with going into the light or whatever. Goodbye. Oh. He really did. He found some old jerky and a key. Nice. Extra grid sleep jerky. What does that do to me? Five. Eh, it's not worth it. Solid look. Crack the safe. A sack of meat nuggets and a weird knife. What does this do? Feels extra damp. 13 to 13. Yeah. I really haven't found anything that's actually helpful. It's better than that, at least. A sack of meat nuggets. 402 meat. That was worth it. That was way better than just doing that. Grab the helmet. Miner's helmet. Armor. Ooh, I don't really need that. That's sad. I had to give him his skull. Well, let's go down. Lock the lever. Give the car to shove. Oh, where did he go? Pick it up. Give the car to shove. Hmm. Let's see, open it. Paper bag and raisins. Unstable stick of dynamite. What? Okay. Well, let's stick the old dynamite in. Pull it.
I'm gonna pull it again to do that. And then we do this. Hmm. Okay, so I need some kind of oil for that, but I don't know where to get that. I solved most of the puzzle, I just don't have the oil. Hmm. There's definitely a way to do it. There's gotta be a way to do that. Uh, but I don't know how. I'll be back. I'll be back to that. Damn well to stop and investigate. Curious abandoned well. It's the random well in the middle of nowhere. Attach a rope. Climb down. Shockweed extract. Well, it's El Vibrato. El Vibrato. Okay, so this... Grab them. Put in a large punch card. Oh! Stative. I'm learning words. I'm learning El Vibrato words! It's probably a way to, like, just figure it out based on things that change after a while. But, you know. Oh well. Whoa, put in small punch card. Whoa, whoa, learning alien language, baby. I'm learning the alien language. Okay, just, this is just grinding it out. This is basically just grinding out. Am I done here? Education Stakusom. Bichu. That's the first one. Press the second one. Press it. Look at them. Press the third one. Press it. Press the fourth one. Potata. Shoppa. Poo poo. Hotata Anan Vanilla Zero Okay, four Anan I Hotata Poo poo. Vibrato for number six. Anan. God, I have no idea. This is random guessing at this point. I'm wasting so much time here. Okay. I have no idea what I've been doing there. Select destination. Destination updated. I need more cards. Gabba Chachano online. Press it. Okay, what are these? I have no idea what this is. Okay. I, I have no idea what this is. Punch card complicated. Let's go back to the education chamber. At least I'm learning the words. Put in the large punch card. Drone fabrication. Is it... Drone fabrication. Cool. It's equipment fabrication. What can I make here? Two buttons. Bracelet fabrication. 
Nice. Brooch fabrication. Eleven armor. Eh. Not very that helpful. Not very helpful. Let's see, a fourth secondary storage. Wait, can I sell these? Ooh, maybe I could just grind. Oh no, I need the El Vibrato scraps for that, I think. Ugh. Unlock. El Vibrato battery. Take it. El Vibrato or. El Vibrato battery. Scrounge. This is really strange. Current destination. Auditory nuisance. What? This thing's just booping. Oh, Anon is two. Anon is two. Nichapu is three. Anon is two. Nichapu is three. Hotata is four. And Ambekuz is five. Self zero. And because and a nun. So six and three. East destination adjustment one. So six. Six and I'm I'm confused by that. There's definitely some form of like there's definitely some form of like system there, but okay. Well uh there there's gonna be there there's definitely a way to like think that. There's definitely some way to solve that. I just, I have no idea how. Trespass. Go through them. Roy Bean. Blank postcard. Own newspaper. Reboot Hill. And yeah, maybe. Oh, God! <laughs> okay. There's so much wrong with that. Oh no, I didn't mean to go to Button Willow's uh, store. I meant to go to Dirt Water. Shit, this is a mistake. Oh, what did, what does Button Willow McKit trick even have? Can of oil. I need something better than oil, but I don't know what. Huh. Translate them. My first is the first of a burning. What? Okay, crazy people. Durwana Mercantile. LTNT. Oh, God. Hey, I need some help tracking down some missing mail. How do you mean? Mail delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood. I'm hunting it on behalf of their mayor. The local mail station has a bunch of route maps, and I don't know which one I need. Hmm. Well, that information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to just give it out either. Delivery going missing is bad news, though. I suppose it's alright just this once. Wait here a second. Thanks. After a minute... Kamish comes back with- It's a she?! So each map has a code number on it, you see, based on region and direction to travel. She can how to work out the code you need and gives you a cheat, cheat reference. It should help you- Oh. Okay, good. I don't need to actually do it. I'm like- I'm like, ah, fuck. If I have to remember that, I'm not gonna do well. Open it. Oh, my brado scraps. Complicated medical drone. What? Activate. Oh, it just creates. It just creates a drone. Oh, I gotta visit the professor again. Trespass. Roll the map. Chuck's house. Somebody else's house makes you suspicious. You can't quite put your fingers on it. This place looks perfectly normal after all. Looks perfectly normal after all. And you can't check the food. There's something very wrong going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. Oh yeah, that's totally normal. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, this is. Mhm. Mm 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Probably just one of those bird feeders where you hang a ball of soot and seeds and stuff. So the birds ate it all, so it's just, you know, the rope. That's a bird! That, that's definitely a... Knock. Creeks open, you open, step inside. Interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered in rusty chains and hooks, as well as a variety of wicked looking knives and shears. Man, in determining age, slightly hunched up posture, grins wildly as you enter, his eyes gleaming. Standing near a large pool of blood on the floor. Hello, hello, my, hello, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. What? Blood and breakfast. Oh, I, oh, sorry, I have a lisp. A lisp? It makes lewd sound like lewd. A bed and break, bed and breakfast. I see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly, but I don't get that at all. Mm hmm. There's a lot of blood on the floor. Ask Chuck about it. Couldn't help but notice you have a giant pool of blood on your floor. Blood? Oh no no. I can see why you might think, think might. Think that? As this is certainly rude, rude, rude like blood, but it, this is tomato soup. Tomato soup? Yes, I spilled my lunch. Very clumsy of me. I was just getting started cleaning it up when you arrived. See. Sleepy time and Earl Grape. It's a large collection of steel chains, hooks, as well as knives, shears, and other bladed implements. Every is covered with rust or possibly dry blood or possibly both. Ah, aha! You've noticed my collection. Yeah, it's, uh, dramatic. It all belonged to my father and his father before him. They were butchers. And you? Haha, <laughs> I do a little bit, but not professionally. I broke the family tradition to run my little blood and breakfast. Staring at you, you notice that his left eye is tending to drift sideways as he stares and resets when he blinks, which is not often enough. Or excuse me, how- yes, how can I help you? You said you were running bed and breakfast here? That's what I slowed, yes. Can I have a look at the guest room? It's in the cellar, and I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest has just only just checked out, and I need to clean up the mess. Oh, what's on the menu? Homemade sausage and tomato soup. I also have a special tea blend that's a real knockout. What kind of sausage? Long pork sausage. Sausage. My grandfather's own recipe. Did you say long pork? That's right. I make them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. This is puzzling and uncomfortable for many different reasons. You mentioned the tea special tea blend? Yes, a special tea blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. Uh-huh. Has the mailman been here recently? Why yes, my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice person, no, such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's no longer with us. I hope you just mean that he left. I like to think that he always be in here in... He always be here. Spirit. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. Sorry, that's my private... That's my blood room. What? My blood room. My bedroom. Oh, right. Gotcha. Never mind then. Cellar door. Man, I bet it's all kinds of horrors down there. Like some kind of medieval sock, but it's locked to keep you out or to keep something in. What was a plot colog? Those things are unpickable. Something ain't right here, it's too quiet, it's pretty creepy, it feels like someone's watching us, I can feel it here. I have another suggestion. There's got to be something here. There's got to be something here. Ooh. I 
Huh, that reminds me, I left the kettle on. The water should be boiled by now. Would you care for a cup of tea? No thanks, I'm good. Chuck pours himself a cup of tea and sips at it while staring at you. After a bit, he starts to look drowsy. Oh my, I'm coming over all sleepy. Perhaps I should get my hlood down for a few minutes. It has been a long day. Please excuse me. Sure. Enter. It's Chuck's... This door leads to Chuck's bloodroom, perhaps bedroom. Chuck's creepy bedroom. Going through Chuck's drawer seems like maybe not a good idea. There's a key on the top of the drawer. There. Yoink. I'm gonna do the check. We should be careful not to wake him. Okay. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Enter. Go in. It isn't... It doesn't look nearly as hor horrific down here as you expected. Except you're hor unhor particularly horrified by an unmade bed. Grab it. Bands cow punching, locks, and how to... Cool, I don't actually need these now. Grab it. Climb out of the cellar, a mailman approaches you. Oh my, thank goodness you found my mail. This mailbag is yours? Yeah, I've been stressed out lately, so I took a day off and rented a room here for a sort of mini vacation. Chuck's a great guy. A little weird, I guess, but real personable. It, and his cooking's great. The tomato soup and those great big sausages. His tea did wonders for my insomnia. It seemed pretty effective. Anyway, I forgot my mailbag. Wasn't sure where I left it, so I've been restricting my steps for ages. Thanks for finding it. Sure, no problem. Here you go. Mailman walks away with the bag over his shoulder and whistling a cheerful t Let's sort it out. What? Chuck's actually a good guy? There... There's so much wrong here. There was so much wrong here. Chuck's a good guy. Hmm. I should cut the episode here. I I'm just... I'm gonna cut the episode here. Chuck's actually a good guy! Who would have believed that? Hmm. <clears throat> that's... Really weird. Okay. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed Chuck's weird house. Chuck's weird creepy house. But, yeah. That's it for today's episode. If you did enjoy, feel free to that like and subscribe button. And I'll be back tomorrow with another daily video. Daily video. Words and enunciation, bitch. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.